Okay, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, I'm recording. Great, fine. Thanks, Doxy. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, Three, two, let's one. Do this. Go. Now I'm recording. Okay. I what what the questions we time. have? So, anyway, I'll go. Hi, guys. It's Minx here. And myself and Doxy are Hello. going to answer some questions today from you guys on Twitter. Aren't we, Doxy? Yes, it's true. You know it's plan. true. Not even gonna no, play any video games right now. This is just this is a this is gonna be for me a zero toxy, and for Minx, part of a new series with a dork. Yeah, yeah. It's part <laughs> of a new series. We're gonna get different YouTubers to do Q and A's. But this is this is the first episode with Doxy. Hello. How do you feel about being the first guest and me being like the fifteenth guest? I am honored. I you know I am touched down in the bottom of my fart. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Anyway, let's uh, let's answer some questions. Would you like to pick the first one, Doxy? Oh golly. Okay, yeah. One second. Let me. Uh, I've have. Oh my not god, Doxy! Been... Why aren't they open on your screen right now? I'm professional. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, so, what's a stigma you wish didn't exist? Hmm. Hmm. I wish that you just didn't get holes in your hands. Wait. Did you mean stigma or stigmata? Oh! oh! We rehearsed that beforehand. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but that's a really good question. Um, I, is Christmas a month? <laughs> that's a Maybe great the question. At. The, the at is probably better. Okay, yeah, tack that's on, a good idea. Tack on nights. Yeah, whatever. At, at taco nigget. Taco nigget. Yeah, at Taco Nigget. We weren't trying to say a rude word That's then, a... by the way, guys. <laughs> That's an excellent question. Um, and, like, really, just there's a lot of social justice issues that I'm really upset still exist in 2015. But they're just human rights issues in general. The fact that in America, especially, like, people are wanting to turn away the refugees that are trying to escape their, like, war-torn homes. I, th I just think that that's the most fucked up thing. Americans have it really difficult, Doc, so you don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, Compa it's ridiculous. Compared to Syria, it's just a nightmare. Yeah, no, they don't even want to come here, honestly. Uh, I think, it, yeah, I think it's hard to pin down, like, one precise stigma. I think mm -hmm. there are lots of stigmas that probably need to be resolved. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm certainly not a, I would say, an, an SJW type, as uh -huh. it were, but at the same time, I certainly do think there are issues in the world that, you know, get in the way of things like um, equality and just being generally good human beings and that kind of stuff. And, they, you know, there's, there's, there's so many things. I, I wish all stigmas didn't exist, yeah, except the ones that more. benefit me. <laughs> nice. But you're a one percenter, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> Oh my god. You don't, you don't gotta lie to kick at me. I voted for Mitt Romney even though I'm not American. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Alright, you pick the next question. Okay, um, let's have a look. There'll be a pause. Okay, what do you think is the best video you've ever made, Doxy? That's from Ghost Girl. Okay, my favorite video that I have on my entire YouTube is one that I made back before I even had a hundred subscri subscribers. It's called uh, Don't Drink and Starve. It was back when I was doing a series called Drunken Gamer Girl and I would just get wasted and then come home and record video gameplay. And it's, it's probably my favorite video I've ever made. It's pretty funny. It's ridiculous. The audio is terrible in it. I hate watching it, but it's really funny, if I may say so myself. So my favorite video I've done, I, I mean, I, I like the songs I did with Dave. A lot. Those are probably my favorite videos of yours. But at the same time, there's other ones I like too. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go with murder. The the rap I did with. Dave. Yeah. Oh That's god, it's my so favorite good. Video is the video I had the most fun making out of all the videos on my channel. I would say. A, it's so, yeah. a fantastic song. I am a big fan. All right. Yeah, of course. All right. So I love this question. Uh, at Marwin asks, what is your least and favorite thing about each other? Hmm, that's an interesting question. So my least favorite thing about you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drop it right now. I'm just gonna okay. tell you right now. 
you are so hard to get a hold of when I want to get a hold of you. But like, I understand that you're busy and everything, but it's it's my <laughs> least favorite thing. It is my least favorite thing when I'm just like, I could really talk to Minx right now. And then and, and then there's the time difference, which makes it even worse. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll message me and I'll play the next day like, hi. Totally. It's yeah. like a, it's like a, a fucking, it's like a console player playing an MMO. <laughs> I, you can, you can tell in Final Fantasy XIV, by the way, when someone's playing on PlayStation 4, because you go in a dungeon, you go, is anyone new? And no one will say anything. And then you'll get to the first boss, die, and then there'll be someone on chat, yes. And it's taken them that long <laughs> to use the PlayStation scrolling options to choose Y-E-S from their thing. Yeah, that's and, sad. And put it in. <laughs> And then I think my favorite thing about you is that you are, like, genuinely kind. Like, you give a shit about people. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, so you're breaking the illusion, Doc, because everyone thinks I'm a hard ass. I'm sorry. My favorite thing about you is how evil you are. Uh, I oh. like how you just shit all over everyone all the time, and um, you have no regard for people's feelings or human life. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. My worst. Oh, this is difficult. This is my. Yeah, and uh, that's why I like it so much. It's a hard question. I, I'm gonna have to give. It, you have to give me a minute to think. You have to give me a minute to think. Okay. Um, my favorite thing about you, Doxy, first of all, I, I can do that. Okay. Is you are very easy to talk to. When I have a lot of problems, I can come and talk to Doxy, and I can be like, "Hey, you know, I don't know if I should kill this guy or not." And she's <laughs> like, "You should." Yeah, I'll be like, and "Here's, here's where issue. you hide the body." Um. Yeah. <laughs> No, but she's genuinely really helpful. Like, you can come to her with like your if you're having a problem or if you're feeling stressed out, you can have a nice chat. And she's you know, it's nice and relaxing to talk to Doxy. She's very good at listening and very good at helping you deal with issues. So that's a uh, thing I, I, I like about her a lot. That makes me feel really good. Thank you. Thing I dislike I can't <laughs> I find it hard to think about things I dislike about you, but um I am pretty perfect. So like that's 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 okay. Okay, okay. This is this this this, is, this isn't this isn't this isn't that bad. But this is the probably thing that I, I can. Doxy doesn't have that many flaws actually. But um, I she she does is sometimes prone to what I would call either oversleeping or sleeping through things sometimes. Quite That's a lot true. of time. I think when she misses something, when she misses like a gameplay session or something, it's because she's either asleep or she's been sleeping at such weird times that her sleep is so fucked. That that is now her night time. That is definitely Where prior, true. It wasn't. So there you go. I think I think your your time management skills are the thing I least like about they you. They are awful. You, th that's that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay. okay, I think it's your turn to pick a question. Let me have a look. Um, this is obviously a really important question, Doxy. Uh -huh. but what is your favorite flavor of Pringle? Uh, I I'm gonna be honest. I might have to go with original. I like to crush it up and put it on shit, like like in sandwiches and on salads and stuff. Mm, but the, oh, the yeah. loaded the loaded baked potato kind is really fucking good though. Too. We don't have that kind in the UK. Yeah. But, um, I'm gonna I, send you some. I, might, I actually might have had some actually in the last time I was in the US. Now I think about <laughs> it. I like sour cream and chive. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, that's that's my favorite. I love sour cream and chive a lot. Although I. Uh, I, I've, I've actually found out recently I'm lactose intolerant, so all the things that I used to like, I can no longer have. I could never go without cheese and ice cream. I, I had to give up cheese and I have, I, I feel, I, I, that's not, I said I'd given them up. I've eaten cheese a few times since I was, I found out, and I've been really ill, but it was worth it, because it tasted good. Oh, man. So, yeah. yeah there's, there's got to be some sort of, like, pill there, there or something you can cheese. take. There is okay. lactose free cheese. What, what about, like, pills you can take so that you can, like, eat lactose food? Eh, is that a thing? I don't know. Probably not. To be fair, it's a good reason to, like, go on a health kick as well. As yeah, well. that's fair. I, I say a health kick. Like, I always say I'm going on a health kick, kick and stuff like that. And it never actually happens. But this one, at least, like, is an enforced lack of dairy and fat in my life. Yeah, fair. Okay. Anyway. All right. Um... This one comes from at Jessie XOXOXX, and she asks who our celebrity crushes are. Go on. You go first, because I've, I've got a, a pretty controversial answer to this. So. I have a million. I have a million celebrity crushes. I think uh, my biggest one right now is Patrick Fugit. I, I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. It's Patrick F-U-G-I-T. I don't even know who that is. So. Uh, he was in 
he was he was the main character in Almost Famous like a hundred thousand years ago. Did you ever see? Nope. Almost Famous. Uh, did I'm gonna you see? Google him right now. I'm gonna he's... Google his face. Oh right my now. god. Oh my. He's delicious. Patrick Faggot, right? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm sure he never gets that. He probably does. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh... <laughs> I have a very specific taste. Okay. 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 Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Also, Elijah years Wood. Old, Doxy. He's 33 years old. He's my age, man. Oh, yeah. Don't Shit. tell me. I was, I was like, don't tell me I don't 20. have a chance. I was like, oh, wait. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm old. You're the same old. age as me, aren't you? Yeah. Pretty much. Just maybe a year <laughs> younger, I think. 1985 <laughs> anyway, represent. Anyway, um, I'm going to do something controversial, the opposite of Doxy, and say, I don't think I actually have any celebrity crushes. I. This sounds really bad. But I have never been interested in celebrity or the people who actually play the people in things. Like, if I watch a film, I couldn't give a fuck the name of the actors and things like that. And I don't ever seek out actors or think about that sort of thing. I just... I, I've never, ever, ever, as far as I'm aware, been sexually attracted to anyone I have seen on TV or in films. I'm not kidding. That is crazy to me. I believe it, but it is crazy. <laughs> like, I... I, I just... I just don't, I just don't, I just don't, I don't, I don't find anything in it. I just feel pretty, I feel really distanced from that sort of stuff, I guess. So that's why I don't, I don't find anything very appealing in it, if you know what I mean. Totally. I, I must just be like an extra sinful and lusty I, I creature though, I, I, also. Like, because I, seriously though, a million. like a I have million. so many celebrity crushes. It's your turn to pick a question. Actually, actually, okay. <gasps> I have a question. A build, okay. A, a building on that. Okay. okay. All right. So, this is a question like I've been asked before, but I'm gonna we can do it again because it's been a long time since I answered this on the channel. Okay. So pretty years actually. Anyway, so okay, so Doxy. Yeah. Um, if you had to pick a celebrity, a, a, a same sex female crush. Okay. Okay. So I had to pick a dude. You you got to pick a, a girl. Okay. Okay. So, if you if you if there was one female celebrity. You had to have sex with whatever happened. Who would you pick? Oh, geez. Um, I don't know. Most of my women crushes are like, are like, they're beautiful. And like, I love them as this pure thing. So it's so <laughs> weird to think about that. Maybe, man, I don't know. Um... Man, I don't know. Uh, that is hard. What, you go first while I think I about first, it. I, I already have the answer to this because I, I always get asked this. <laughs> so it's this guy called Stuart Townsend. Do you know who that is? No, but I'm Googling. I don't actually, I, don't, I mean, I don't, I, I, I'd rather not have sex with any man. But if I had to have sex with a male celebrity, I would pick him. Because he's like kind of girly looking anyway, a bit. Oh, he's you know. delicious. <laughs> he's in. Uh, he was in. I'm trying to think what films he was in. I don't think he's been in any films recently, but he was in the really, really bad Queen of the Damned film and the portrait of Dorian Gray. Uh huh. So yeah. Okay. There all right. Go. I think. I think I would have to go Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley. Okay. Any particular reason why? She's just hot. <laughs> she is. I would touch that body. I would do it. I, w I love that we're just objectifying celebrities right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's move on from the whole celebrity crush angle. Okay. Do you regret any video you have made? No. Not oh, okay. a well, single one. one. Yeah. Um, I, I, it was that one that I went on that racist tirade for about half an hour that I had to remove. <laughs> but other than that, no. I don't really regret that, you know. I just, I just deleted it so you guys would love me more. <laughs> you let's have a look through let's both look there's loads of questions jesus christ yeah there are a bunch Ooh, i like this one all right uh at sith is plays asks what's the shittiest game you've ever played the shittiest game i've ever played yeah i mean i played a lot of shit games recently like I'm trying to think of games that I gave, like, really... Sh I mean, that fucking Yojo Simulator game, that's fucking... That's the most recent example I can think of a game that is absolute fucking shit. Uh -huh. But a lot of the games on the SOS playlist that me and Sinnoh have played 
Uh -huh. I would say I've, I'd say at least fifty percent of them are all equally as fucking awful as as another. Just like just like a fucking just terrible. Like I don't even know how some of these things exist. You know what I mean? Like some of them totally. are so fuck Ramayana. For example, that is one of the worst things I've ever... I don't even know how it could be made. I don't even know how it's real. <laughs> Someone sat down and made that with their own fucking hands, and they were like, what the... F you know, just, what the fuck? I mean, the only good thing about Ramayana is it's hilarious, so that's, like, always a plus. There's, like, yeah, there definitely. are games... There are games like Fire Fireflies. That game was shit and terrible and boring. So it was boring, and there was nothing fun to say about it. I couldn't even joke about it. It was just shit. It was just, like, a pile of fucking dog turd. One of the worst fucking things. If I have fireflies, it's shit. Don't buy it. All right. Duly noted. I think mine, like, I I was unable to actually, like, get into the gameplay. It seems really fun, but this makes it the shittiest game of all time. It's 3089 Futuristic Action RPG. And when we oh, tried to play... That. Was it fun? That. No, it was shit. Really? <laughs> it sounds I fun. Get, well, I couldn't get past anything. That's probably why. Yeah, when we, when we, like we're trying to connect to each other we went it like there was this option that was like find people to play with and we clicked on it and it tweeted our ip addresses are you kidding me not even a little bit are you fucking kidding me not even a little bit like that happened i was like i was like are you see you're sending this to youtubers what are you doing you can't do that and i like i've had a bad taste in my mouth ever since then did you, did you ever confront the dev about it uh, we, yeah, we tweeted the shit out of him. We were like, bro, you can't fucking, you need to remove that from your game or at least warn people. Because it, without what's, warning. What's his at? What's his at? I don't remember. Yeah. It was, it was a long time ago, but it was like me, Green 9090, Mike Malbec, and I want to say CKD, maybe, my art guy, that also is like a co-host on my shows often. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it tweeted out our fucking IP addresses. Without, without being like, are you sure? This is going to tweet your IP. It was... That's fucking... Yeah. We were so mad. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Okay. Let's have a look. I already, I already found another one that's really good. Okay, good, because I'm, I'm looking up this game. Like, <laughs> uh, Apocalyptic Neko asks, do you prefer doing the live streams or recording videos more? That's an interesting question. Yeah. I would have, if you'd asked me a year ago, I'd have said recording videos, but lately, live streams I enjoy more, for sure. Um, I just, I, I, I have a lot more fun doing yeah. live streams lately, recording videos. Interacting with I, chat is really, really fun. I, I like interacting with people. I like the fact, like, mine and Chrism's Twitch streams, are like, they're four hours long, so it's quite a long haul. And we uh -huh. do, it's like, almost like a podcast with video games over it. Right, yeah, definitely. In the background. And I, I really like it a lot. It's, um, it's just really fun. And I, I have a lot more fun doing that than I do... Not that like I hate recording, you know, it's not like the bane of my existence or anything, it's just the time it takes to edit videos and stuff like that at the moment, especially in my life, is it getting increasingly hard to find? And live streaming is just like, oh, it's just so, much, so much easier and so much more engaging, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I really like definitely. it a lot. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Check out Prism's live streams three times a week. Yeah, do it. Twitch.tv forward slash Chrism Pro. Um, I, I really enjoy, I like, okay, I like the content that I get from like editing YouTube videos better, but I like the process of live streaming more, like pretty much exactly what you just said. Well, not almost, almost exactly what you just said. I, I enjoy my video content more than I enjoy my live stream content, but I enjoy making the live streams more, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't like editing. It's like my least favorite thing about YouTube. Like, I wish that I had an intern that would fucking do all my editing for me. Sometimes Mike does my editing for me, and those are days that he gets blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. Mm -mm. Um, she says, you've said before that you wouldn't want the YouTube name you have now, so what would you change it to? Uh, just Minx. Just Minx? Yeah, just buy it. It'd just be easier. Yeah, I would change mine to just Doxy, also. It would make my life a lot easier. It really would. I hate when people are like, the RPG Minx is going to be on our show. I'm like, yo. <laughs> it's just, just Minx. Just Minx. It, it's Minx, yeah. Yeah. Like, when's the last time you heard somebody refer to me as Zero Doxy, also? Uh, like, I'm just quite Doxy. Zero Doxy. That's what I like to call you all the time. <laughs> 
Just every time she talks to me, she's like, zero doxy, zero doxy, zero doxy. Calm down. So another one here, at Paul Westmo. Um, can you guys create your own show like once a week or something like how Minx did with Chrism or Sinnoh? So we've talked about doing like a podcast type about. thing in yeah. the past, but it's like, I mean, it's not unlikely, but it's also not entirely likely with our time schedules right now yeah, either. I mean, so keep, keep an eye hope. out, maybe keep a hopeful, a cautiously hopeful eye out, maybe. Maybe not even a podcast, maybe something else. Yeah. But, um, you know, like, I don't know, I, I like to do a series with you, Doxy. You're very reliable to do stuff with. Just be a question of what, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just like uh, gaining all of your viewers, really. I don't really like you very much. It's just oh, really that's good that's for my fine, channel, you know? I'm so. used to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, that, that wasn't at all convincing, right, that crying? <laughs> no, it was really good. I uh, I was terrified that I broke your heart in two okay, pieces. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. So uh, calm down. The RPG mix. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Shut up, Zero Doxy. <laughs> Uh, at channel J A L asks, what kind of music are you into? I'm sure you get that a lot. I get it a lot. I do. Um, this is again another controversial answer. I'm such a boring person. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't really listen to a lot of music. Like if a song comes on, I'm like, yeah, that's good, you know. But I, if I, that's usually because Chrism's put a song on. I don't actively look for music very often, if you know what I mean. Uh huh. But I, occasionally, I'll go through a phase of listening to like one band, like a lot. If totally. you know what I mean, like, it'll just be like, like, I guess I that I was one lot... song. Sometimes I'll listen to it over and over on repeat until I have it memorized. I, I listened to a lot of D Antwood this year. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot. I remember, really, you really, showed really, me really them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really, really was, I was really into them for like, uh, about four or five months. I mean, I still like their music. I just don't listen to it like on repeat anymore. Yeah. But yeah, I'll have times, where, but other than that, like, I don't have any particular genre. Like, when I was younger, I used to listen to a lot of, like, really aggressive music and, I guess, like, gothy type music and stuff Me like that. Too. But I've kind of grown out of that a bit, I suppose. And now I don't really mind any... Like, there's plenty of pop songs I like now. I've mellowed in my old age. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm a big, fat cliche. My favorite band of all time is Led Zeppelin. Uh, but I listen to a vast variety of music like on my on my spotify channel that i listen to all the time or like the playlist that i've created yeah. i have everything from like i have a couple country songs on there even like pop country songs which is crazy because normally i can't stand most country but so, sometimes what's your, what's your who's your who's your, who your favorite country artist i really i really like Travis Tritt and Tim McGraw, like a lot. They are they are a uh, uh, guilty pleasure of mine. Was that was that was that Florida Georgia line you said? No, <laughs> no, no, it was not. Uh, and then I also have I have some Marilyn Manson on there. I have some oh, Corn on there. I have yeah. some Eminem on there. <laughs> like I, I love I, I used to especially Eminem's earlier albums. I I really 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 loved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a genius, man. I, I also, I just like, I'm a big fan of hip hop in general. I like a lot of underground, underground hip hop. I like like Sage Francis and like Atmosphere and like Watsky and stuff like that a whole lot. They're all really clever and philosophical and just have really beautiful messages to spread, I think is pretty great. Mm -hmm. Interesting. At Destiny Roca asks, hey, what are some of your favorite movies? Uh, hmm. There's lots of, I like lots of movies. I mean, I, I like horror movies. I like horror movies too. Yeah, and anything that gets you thinking philosophically, also. My, my favorite movie of all time is Pulp Fiction. That's Very a good fuck. Yeah. I love Quentin Tarantino. Mm. I really do. The Kill Bill movies were fucking delicious. So good. I, I really like, I really like, um, my favorite films, are, so many films I like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think are really good. My favorite film of all time is Sunshine by Danny Boyle. It's so good. So good. I don't think I've ever seen that, actually. Do it. That's your homework. Okay. 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 I, I, sounds like, I, I probably like it. I do like a lot of Danny Boyle's other stuff. Oh, he's so good. He I'm might be my favorite him. director, actually. I don't know who my favorite director is. I, I like a lot of foreign films, too. I like a lot of uh, like Korean films. I like The Vengeance. Old boy! Movie. I was about to say, yeah. uh, the Avengers trilogy, of which Old Boy is the second film. Old Boy um, is 
so good. Oh boy is without a doubt the strongest of the of the three films. It's it's yeah, easily three. in my top ten favorite films of all time. Oh, oh boy is definitely I would say is my second favorite film of all time. Oh boy, it is fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. Fuck the American remake, by the way. I'm talking about the original Korean. Yeah, I but... watch it with subtitles. Yeah, I've never even seen the American remake because. Fuck that! Like I've, I've have you had... seen the other two films in the in the series? No, I haven't. I haven't. Itself. Oh, you should. The first one. Uh, oh, I'm gonna find out. We can always cut this. The first film is is about is like uh, the main character is like deaf and dumb, mm-hmm. and a lot of the camera work is from his perspective, and like the sound is like from a deaf person's perspective. Uh huh. It's really interesting. Um, the, the the first one's called Mr. Vengeance, and the second one is oh boy, and the third one's Sympathy for Lady Vengeance. Yeah, I will definitely check those out. Definitely, because Old Boy is amazing. So they're, good. they're both. They all have similar themes. They're both about extreme revenge. They're all three about extreme revenge being taken for various things. Yeah, I like that. I like that very much. Yeah, I would say Lady Vengeance is a bit more. Towards the end, it becomes almost like torture porn, and it's a bit there. But it, it, oh yeah, I kind of hate that. Like the hostile movies and stuff. I I couldn't uh, get into those. I would say in the same vein. Like I, I, I'll, do, I'll do slight spoilers. Okay. Okay. There's, the one, the one, the, the the main character in Lady Vengeance um, takes the fall for a pedophile and goes to jail for being that pedophile, even though it isn't her, uh-huh. because he's threatening her daughter, uh-huh. and she goes to jail for a long time for for murdering and killing a child that she didn't kill. Uh-huh. And while in prison, she puts together this elaborate plan to get revenge. I won't spoil what that is, but it accumulates in the 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 guy being locked in a room with. Uh, ten parents whose child he's killed. Damn. And that's like the final, like literally forty minutes of the film is that room, that sequence. Okay, I really, I really want to see that now. <laughs> I really yeah. want to see that now. It's a really good film. I, 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 part, at the end, I don't like as much, but in general, it's still a good film. I recommend it, and I really recommend the first one too. Mm-hmm. I will definitely check those out. Oh, and also, if you haven't seen Korean film Thirst, the best vampire movie ever. It's called Thirst? Thirst. Yeah, okay. it's a Korean vampire movie. All right, yeah, I will definitely check that out. Mike doesn't really like movies that he has to read, so these are things that I have to watch by myself. Womp womp. Because I, I can't stand English dubbing. Like, oh, yeah, it's, I th- always, it's always Yeah, it's always really bad. I don't like it. But, yeah, I recommend those movies a great deal. I will There's definitely, uh, some definitely amazing films that. there. Okay, so now we also have at Rowena underscore just me, what are your favorite TV shows ever? My favorite TV shows. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, there's lots. I actually like. A, there's a lot of TV shows I like. Um, although, like I say, I never, I never really register who's in them. I don't care. Like, it's just, it's just like I watch the show for what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you go first. I need to think a little bit more. Uh, I would have to say Game of Thrones because, again, I'm a big fat cliche. So good. I, probably, I, I really like Game of Thrones. So too, good. I, I actually hated it to begin with. Mm-hmm. I, like, I remember I, I when you didn't it. like it. Yeah. yeah. I was like, you're and wrong. I, <laughs> I eventually really ended up, I ended up rewatching it, rewatching it, rewatching it, and eventually got past a certain point and then really got into it. Totally. I remember, it's, in my, it's in my favorite favorite TV series of all time. I'm not sure yeah. it's my favorite favorite, but it's one of my favorite. Um, so good. I also have to go with Firefly and Dollhouse because represent. I'm going to go with Dexter. And House. House is good. I really, I love Hugh Laurie. I love him. Yeah. And like Very, all the but, actors in that show were really good. Yeah, I, I liked House a lot. House made me cry as well quite a bit. Oh, always, points. totally. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like Dexter and I like House. I, I, I like, I like I, Dexter got a bit shit towards the end, but certainly the first like, up to the Trinity Killer arc, I think is some of the best TV, like ever. Yeah, I, I was, it. I was pretty engrossed by it. I, it, I think it falls right the fuck apart after that though yeah uh what's his name uh the guy from third uh, third rock from the sun who plays the serial killer John plays Trinity. he's fucking amazing he is in Dexter, amazing isn't he? he's, he's amazing, like, amazing in everything amazing. he does he's he's yeah. just a really brilliant actor yeah yeah john lithgow he was really good really love that really really like really like that a lot uh uh-huh. um uh, there was another one that i wanted to mention oh not not really one in specific but i tend to really really like crime shows and like superhero shows a lot too and superhero uh, movies what's your favorite crime show uh law and order svu maybe i like criminal minds i've never watched it 
Oh my god, it's, there's like 10 seasons of it and it's amazing. Go watch it. I totally will. I will. It's, fucking, like, it's really good. It's really good. It's totally really will. fucked up as well at times. Like, it's got some amazingly. It's got some totally improbable but really cool serial killer sort of like MOs and shit in it. There's I'm like for one it. that makes people into living puppets by breaking their limbs and shit. It's fucking oh, messed up. Oh, that is messed up. <laughs> <laughs> that that sounds right up my alley though. I've recently yeah. I've recently don't make fun of me for this, but I've recently been watching on Netflix I Zombie and I totally love it. I totally love it. I well I wanted to hate it because it seemed so stupid, but I actually I just I got totally engrossed and I super love it. It's really fun to just Speaking binge watch. I like American Horror Story a lot as well. It's one of my favorite TV shows. I couldn't get uh, into it. I uh, I think I, I really like the the first and third seasons a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not, I, should, this is, I, I don't even know why I'm talking about it. So it probably wouldn't make my favorite list, but I'm going to mention it now anyway because I started talking about it. I thought the first series and the third series, which is uh, Murder House and Coven, mm -hmm. were really good. Mm -hmm. And I thought Asylum and Freak Show were a bit eh. And I haven't seen Hotel yet because it's not out in the UK probably for another year. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, it's like a year delay of it coming out on Netflix here compared to the US. Well, so. I, why is that? Don't know. That's stupid. We just got a freak show like about two months ago. They, and they crank that show out like a fucking motherfucker too. Like that comes yeah. out quick. Yep. What can you do? All right. Um... Well, well, actually, when I'm in the US, I like I like the fact that my Netflix has a shit ton more stuff on it. I always look, always enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the US has definitely the best Netflix. It's unfortunate for people who don't live here. So I want to I want to add to that. Um, that nobody asked this question, but I want to ask you, what are your favorite podcasts to listen to? Do you listen to any? Yeah, I do. I, I listen to a few. Um, obviously. Number one is people... Homero podcast, right? My, my podcast, right? Uh, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, number one, are you guys, most people who watch me will know, I, I've been on the Drunken Peasants a few times. I watch, I've watched pretty much every episode. I really like it. I like, uh, their sort of like social commentary sort of like, debate type religion de like politics type stuff i really enjoy their show a lot um mm. i like a podcast about wrestling called solomon's the sounds off that i listen to every week um i listen to a, quite a few wrestling podcasts but that's like the one i listen to like i don't miss an episode of if you know what i mean mm -hmm. like uh, the other ones i'll listen to occasionally and think oh that's stupid or something but in general that's my favorite one um I'm trying to think if i listen to anything else podcast wise why um I think that I, I think that's it. I've listened to a little bit of like um, Jenna Marbles and her boyfriend's podcast. They do. I didn't like, even Chris know that they really had them. one. I love yeah. Jenna Marbles. Like she, Chrism, Chrism likes them a lot. So uh -huh. I, I sometimes like hear that, like because she has it on, you know, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. So yeah, that's, that's all right as well. You know, not necessarily my. I'm not really into watching vlogging channels and stuff, so I don't really right. do that sort of thing. But totally. you know, it's from what I've heard of it, it was pretty good. So you know. Sweet deal. I like um I like Harmon Ted. Oh my god, and one of my favorite shows is Rick and Morty. That is it's it's so good. So fucking good. Have you watched Rick and Morty? I have not watched you need to. anything animated for years. You need to watch Rick and Morty. You need to. It's amazing. It's it's fucking phenomenal. Like I can't sing its praises enough. Just will, watch will the I, first I, three like episodes. Well, it, I'll be like, oh my god, suddenly. I, I wasn't into it after the first episode. After the second episode, I wanted to fucking liquefy it and, and inject it into my blood. It's so everyone was, good. Everyone was on my back recently because I haven't seen Adventure Time, but... Yeah, I, I'm not... I couldn't get into Adventure Time. Like, I, I laughed and, like, enjoyed it, but it wasn't something that I, like, had to go back to. Rick and Morty is different from that in a big way. It's like, I can't wait for the next season of, of Rick and Morty. Um... But yeah, the Harmontown pod podcast is Dan Harmon, who is the creator of Rick and Morty, and uh, and he it's fantastic and hilarious, and they play D and D on it, and it's really good. Um, and then I also I actually really kind of like the Roundtable podcast, uh, Nick and Bear Taffy and and uh, Ryan Northern Lion and uh, Mathis. That there I there's this pretty pretty entertaining sometimes too mm -hmm. that's about it and i think we're pretty much out of questions here unless I unless i missed any that you wanted no, to we've, go over we've been, talking, we've been talking for a while yeah i think that's been a good good sort of like uh, a good little chat totally yeah so, thank you very much for asking those questions yeah yes, thanks everyone. everybody that was really fun next time make them even better okay because they were i would give them a six yeah be a 12 
Yeah, yeah. We need a 12 out of 10 next time. Yeah. 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 Anyway, thank you very much for listening, guys. And uh, bye. 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 bye.